If you do any work with data, administration, development, engineering, data science, analysis, then you know how important it is to have good quality data tools so that you can have good quality data. And in this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite tool for working with data, specifically SQL Server, but the company that makes this tool has an entire suite and range of tools that work across the data world. And I'm going to focus on the tool that I use for working with Microsoft SQL Server and an upgrade that this tool recently got that incorporates artificial intelligence to make it even more effective. The tool we're going to take a look at today is called DB Forge Studio for SQL Server. It's by a company called DevArt and they make a number of different database tools for different database products to really help me manage my database environment. And they were actually a very early sponsor on the channel a few years back when I was first starting out. And I've been using their product ever since because it's absolutely fantastic. And they've actually decided to sponsor this video. So, and there's a special announcement near the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But let's take a look at DB Forge Studio for SQL Server and specifically the new AI assistant that we can use in order to get our queries optimized, to get our data optimized, well, to do a lot of very interesting things. So when I launch DB Forge Studio, you'll notice that I get a connection string. It's very similar to other tools that I might have. I'll go in, I'll choose the server that I want to connect to. Um, so I'll choose localhost because I do have SQL running on my local machine. I'll choose Windows authentication so we can go and choose our authentication type. I'll choose the database that I'd like to connect to or just the server itself. And then I get some additional options like I can choose to make it a production environment, a development environment or a sandbox environment. I have advanced options so I can make sure that I have encryption and such. So once I test the connection and make sure it works, I can then go in and connect it to the, to the database. In this case here, localhost, the data server with all of my databases on here. I can create another connection in here, same, same idea, localhost and Windows authentication. And then what I could do is change my environment from say a development environment into a sandbox environment. So you can see here, test the connection and the icons on the side change so that I know that I'm in my sandbox environment. And there are a ton of tools that are available with DB Forge Studio. Uh, things around development, lots of different tools. We're going to focus on the AI Assistant here and uh, in this video, but there's so many more things I can do around database development, database design, some really useful tools for both uh, traditional design and, and uh, analytical design, different database sync tools, different administrative tools, uh, different types of data pump tools to move data, different types of data analytic tools. So lots of useful features in here and some DevOps tools as well. So this is a, a platform that allows me to really do a lot with my database environment, not just being limited to a few things. So let's open up a query window. You can see I have a query window. I can choose different databases. I'll open up my AI assistant here and I'll sign into the AI assistant and then I can start using the AI to build my queries. I can use it to build queries. I can use it to analyze queries. I'll connect up to a database here. Let's connect up to my AdventureWorks data warehouse. Now data warehouse of course is something that's used to answer business questions. I can type my business question into the AI. So in this case here I want to take a look at showing me customers that have multiple orders and I want to look at those orders sorted by year. So I could write the SQL query myself or I can have the AI generate that query for me. And this is great because this means I can put in my business question and use this code. Um, I could use it as starter code. I could copy this code. I could actually open it right into a query window. I could then make sure I'm on the right database. I could then execute the code to see the results so I can start debugging. I can execute the code and it'll actually generate the results. So you can see this is a very powerful tool and it can be used uh, to take existing SQL queries as well and optimize them. So let's say I have this query here and I want to work a little bit more here. I want to then sort the query by the customers that have purchased the most products with me. 
So you can modify the query and you can build this query up over time. So I'm going to build this query by adding a little bit more to it. <clears throat> and then what it'll allow me to do, I'll make sure I'm on the right database here, it'll allow me to modify and have this query uh, enhanced. So now I'm going to get the enhanced query. You see, obviously it's very similar to the first query. I'm just doing a, a sort on here, but I'll open it to a new query window. I'll go ahead and execute that. And we can see that I've got my top customers that have placed the most orders. So you can see that in here as well. And if I'm just starting out on my SQL journey, I can actually ask the AI to explain the query to me. So it could explain the query that I just created, or if I had existing SQL code in a query editor, I could bring it into the AI and ask it to explain it. This AI is also directly connected to the help and documentation for DBForge Studio. So if there's things that I want to do in the studio, so for example, if I, if I want to go in, I can ask it a question here. So I'll say, you know, how can I um, modify the database structure? So maybe I want to know how to make the database structure um, more effective. So I'm going to modify it so that the query maybe runs side by side. So I want to modify this to so make it more efficient. So if you're in the world of databases, we know the number one way to make a query more efficient is index it. So you can see here it's going to make that recommendation to me, but it's going to go beyond that. It's going to tell me what table or what, uh, where I want to put the indexes. It's going to tell me what type of indexes and it's going to even write code for those indexes, which again, I can copy into query windows and execute. That's a really handy feature. And then if I want to, I can even go in <clears throat> and ask it questions like, let's say I want to know how to use DBForge Studio in order to uh, create side-by-side uh, -side comparisons. Or maybe I want to keep a copy without the index, keep a copy with the index, and run side-by-side -side comparisons. I just have to put that question into the AI. And when I put that question in the AI, it's going to give me a suggestion of how I can run side-by-side -side comparisons. This is pretty helpful if you're teaching or learning because what you can do is say, oh, here's the query with an index, here's the query without an index. Indexes are a good thing. So we can go in here and it's just giving me some information on how to do that, but not just how to do it, it's actually writing the code that would enable me to do that. And there are a lot of different features that I can do in, in the studio here. So the studio itself has a lot of different things we can do. Let me show you one for fun, but there's a lot that we can do. So you can see I can do database things. I can look at um, working with the data itself. I can work with SQL. Uh, there's lots of different ways to, to work in this environment. You saw them at the very beginning of when I was demonstrating it, just all the things that I can do. The AI is integrated with that. Let's do something like build a report. So notice that I have a report designer built right into DBForge Studio. Very common to have to generate reports from data. You can see that I've got the report wizard here. I'm going to create a standard report. You can do a little bit more here, but I'm just going to go to my local host, do a simple query, simple, um, simple report. I can choose other hosts if I have them in there as well. And what I'll do here is I'll just choose my database. Now this is a data warehouse. So of course I'm going to have dimensions that are very wide. So I'll go ahead and add just a bunch of the fields from the dimension here. So this might be a report where I want to do a little customer address and phone number report. I'll go ahead and add those columns and finish. And notice it generates the RDB file for me. So it actually generates my report definition file for me. I'll just close the AI assistant for a moment for some desk real estate here. Uh, and that's why we should always have big giant monitors or more monitors. And you can see I've got my file here. I can make my own modifications to the report definition file. I'm able to go in and add things like headers and footers, all the good things that a report would want to have. I'm not going to make a crazy fancy report here. I'm just going to do a preview of the existing one. And you can see there's the report there in a preview of the report. It's a couple thousand pages long actually. The AI Assist is fantastic and it's something that just makes my favorite data IDE even better. That integrated development environment, it just makes it better because now I can use AI to do so many things around optimization, development, understanding, learning, teaching. 
And DevArt, the company that makes this tool, also makes a whole bunch of other data tools for Oracle databases, Postgres SQL, for MySQL, uh, MariaDB, connectivity tools. There's just, I'll put a link to their website down below because they just make so many useful tools when it comes to the world of data. And in fact, in this video, they're sponsoring this video and are offering a contest. There's a prize to be won. If you like the video and comment down below, you'll be entered into a draw. I'll put the details in the description of how this is going to work, but they've kindly offered to have a, a prize that they can, they can give away to, uh, to one lucky winner. So I'm looking forward to, to doing that draw in the near future after this video is published. If this video is three years old, the contest is probably over. I'll put the details down below. But the real prize is that you can go to their website, download a free trial, and start playing with the tool that works with the database environment that, that works for you. So if you're in an Oracle environment, if you're a MySQL user, or if you're using a SQL server like I am, you can check out the tools and the AI Assist. There's a lot of different things to explore. So I hope the video was useful. I hope that you do explore the tool. Comment down below. Tell me what you think of the tool. And I guess have a chance to win a prize. And, um, and I'll see you in the next video.